I saw a woman with rose-colored hair around these parts the other night. Quite mysterious. She seemed to have been inspecting the crime scene. There was something almost ethereal about her presence. She was something. go against the Order's beliefs. I suspect this is all nothing more than a wild rumor fanned by superstition. A lot of strange rumors are going around. People are whispering about ghosts and ghouls, of being haunted by dead girls. You don't believe them, do you? I like to keep an open mind. If the stories are true, I'd like to help those people. They died because of me. As much as I hate to say this, you're not omnipotent. As the savior, you don't have the power to save the dead. Yeah, I know the extent of my own powers, Hope. But never say never. You look like you're enjoying yourself. Good book? It's my journal. I've written in it for years. I read through it every day. It reminds me of the past. I'm retired, so I have plenty of time on my hands. Those are all yours? Every single one? I've been writing for 500 years now. That adds up, you know. <laughs> ah, the memories. I've experienced so much in those years. I've really led a great life. Nowadays, I find joy in reading about the past and enjoying freshly baked delicious muffins. That's all a simple man like me really needs. The simple pleasures in life for a simple man. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, speaking of freshly baked muffins. Fresh out of the oven, just the way you like them. Excellent. Ah, uh, thank you very much, young man. You say that to me every day. Change it up a little, will ya? <laughs> oh, I'll think of something different for you tomorrow. Let me see here. There you go. Thanks. See ya. Marlin bakes the most mouth-watering muffins. They're exquisite. He even delivers them to me here personally every day. That's nice. You two seem like your old friends. Well, I'd like to think we're more than that. Talking to him always cheers me up. I've never had a family of my own. To me, that friendly boy who brings me muffins every day is like the son I never had. Great memories, great food, and great friends. What more do you need? Looks like you're all set. Indeed I am. I know we don't have much longer in this world, but even if everything ends tomorrow, I'll have no regrets. Well, except for one little thing. It's about these journals. Well, I'm afraid I lost the first one some time ago. It chronicles the first 50 years of my life. 50 years. You want it back, of course. Yes, I do. I don't suppose I could ask. Well, do you think you could look around for it? Sure, why not? I'll take a look. How will I know it's yours? My name is written on the cover. I don't think you should have any problems recognizing it. Oh, and I'd like to ask you not to read it if you find it. Not to say my life has been all that exciting. <laughs> of course. Hmm, it'll be tricky to find though. Is there anything else that might help? Do you remember where or when you lost it? Well... Hmm. It's a bit of a long shot, but I may have donated it with some of my old books by mistake a long time ago. If memory serves, they went to a woman named Mitka. She runs a secondhand shop, or used to. I'm afraid I don't know where she is now, or what she's doing.
descendants of the Warren should be driven out of the City of Light immediately. on the roof. It's too high for me to reach. How do I get it down? scary monster that came out of the chaos. He went to kill it with some friends a while ago. And he hasn't come back? No, and it's already been five days. That's a long time. Look, I know you're worried about him, but you have to take care of yourself, too. It wouldn't do your brother any good if you got yourself killed out here. I'm okay. Besides, it's my job to wait right here till he comes back. He's really strong. I know he'll be back soon. I'm sure he will be. If I see him around, I'll tell him you're waiting for him and that he should hurry home. Thanks. Now that I have my ball back, I have something to play with until he gets here. Don't worry about me. I'm okay on my own. Thank you again for my ball. you have troubles. Something on your mind there? Well, no, not really. Just, uh, lost in my thoughts. Thinking about an old friend. Oh? He passed away, unfortunately, a while back. I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, my name is Armand. I, uh, w would you have some time to spare? I have quite a story to tell about him. Sure. Tell me about him. He, he was a reporter. A firm believer that the pen was mightier than the sword. A do-gooder. Believed he could save people by exposing the evils and hypocrisies of society. Naive, maybe, but full of determination. Being naive's better than having no ideals at all. Agreed. Uh, 
At first, he was just a regular beat reporter for a local paper. His articles were mainly about the local stores and great discounts they were offering that week. You know, little tidbits to help people out in their daily lives. As you can tell, nothing worthy of the front page. But one day, a great opportunity fell into his lap. He got assigned a big story. <laughs> You're one step ahead of me. But well, that's enough storytelling for one day. The rest I'll have to wait for another time. store in these parts. She also goes by the name Mitka. Well, my name is Mitka, and I ran a bookshop once back in the day, but that was over 200 years ago. Are you certain I'm the one you're looking for? I'm not, but maybe you can help me. Listen, I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if you remember a man named Renolf. Ah, yes, I remember him. Gosh, that was a long time ago. Who are you anyway? What do you want with him? He's the one who found me, really. He asked me to track down an old journal of his for him. He did? Huh. That's a strange request. And what is he up to these days? Eating muffins and reading his books. That's about it, really. Oh. So, why are you helping him, if you don't mind my asking? It's what I do, that's all. Oh. Are you one of those people who does charity work? <laughs> Call it what you will. So, can you help me out? All I can tell you is that I've never handled his journal, but I do know a thing or two about his past. But none of that is for me to divulge. If you want the truth, you need to find out for yourself. I plan to. I just don't know where to start. Head to the part of the city they call the Warren. Once there, seek out the man with no name. <laughs> right. Hope there's only one of them, or that's gonna be rather difficult. Oh, not to worry. You'll find him. But I urge you to be very, very careful. What you're doing is admirable, but it might not be what he really needs. Poor kid. Spend your nights in Luxarian in our luxurious hotel. You're the one who will. There are heretics roaming around. are all ticking happily away. I hope you can relax now. Thank you. If I had failed to inspect the clocks and they had stopped, I don't know what I would have done. I would have felt responsible for the world coming to an end. I wouldn't have been able to keep living, not with that kind of guilt on my shoulders. I'm glad I could put your mind at ease, but remember, the end is still coming, you know. A lot sooner than you think. 
<sighs> That's encouraging. What can I say? It's inevitable. <sighs> yes, I do know that. But that's the reason why I care for the clock so much. I don't want to wait for the Savior to come and do all the work. Why is that? You don't trust her? No, it's not that. When the world ends, I want to be absolutely sure. I want to be 100% certain that I finished the task that I was meant to do. No regrets, is that it? No feeling you left your job unfinished? Yes, that's exactly right. No regrets. Even if the Savior doesn't show up to save the whole of mankind, I can face the end with pride. Huh. Maybe not everyone needs to be saved by God. Maybe completing your duty is the way. The way to salvation. This is Luxarian's North Station. The trains here shuttle back and forth between Luxarian and Yusnan, the city that never sleeps. There is another station in Luxarian, South Station. The trains there will take you to either of these two locations. The Wildlands, where you can enjoy fresh air, nature, and friendly faces. Or the Dead Dunes, a desert abundant with hidden treasures. This is where you can purchase your tickets. I swear I'll make you happy. Those were my own words. Did I think I was fun? I couldn't do a damn thing. You died centuries ago and it still feels like yesterday. Not a day goes by when I don't think of you and how I could save you. But I failed you. Like a fool, I'm just spinning my wheels while the world dies. Now everything's ending and no one's gonna survive. these days I don't know how entertaining he finds it but it's certainly his doing you snot his snow's town now the residents call him the patron and he runs everything here especially the feasts and banquets I've heard that he wanted everyone to enjoy whatever brief time they had left but these days he's holed up in his palace who knows what he's thinking if I could I'd go and visit but I don't think I'm welcome there Guess I should have pulled my punches. No, it was the right thing to do at the time. I really thought if you confronted him head on, he'd open up to you. Of course, it's been centuries. People are bound to change. Have the years changed him? Maybe. The snow I remember was an optimist. Almost laughably so. He believed in everyone, and so everyone believed in him. That's why, in the end, I could accept Sarah wanting to marry him. But 
while I slept away the years in Crystal. He had to live every day, facing the world's coming end. Centuries, watching all hope crumble, lifetimes passing without a hint of escape. No man can stare into the darkness for so long and survive with his soul intact. Thank you. 